Welcome back to Indian Trace. This has never been done by me, and I haven't seen it online much. Uh, Eastern North Carolina, Coastal Piedmont, sure they made points. I mean, just look at this. Oh, they made points all right. No doubt about it. But, they also made pottery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look over the variations of this pottery with perfect light. Just take a few minutes, a handful of minutes, to show you some of this stuff. Now, the bowl on the bottom is from Ecuador. My parents brought it to me and gave it to me. It's a nice... Uh, Actually, it is pottery. It's a type of pottery. But there's some stuff in here that I want to show you in terms of variation. Another little uh, pottery keeping sake uh, container I have from my wife with the variations. And the color is just perfect here. Eastern North Carolina has so much variation with pottery. And I want to take a little time to honor that as a textile. It's unbelievable. I mean, just take a look. And you can even pause it of the complete variation. Because I am sure we're covering... 100 year periods of difference here. Possibly a spread of 1,000 years from the beginning of some of these pieces of pottery uh, to the other side. And so it's it's really crazy. So let's just take a look at some of these. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. You can always just turn it off. But uh, this is just going to be a meal of pottery and I'm just going to go through this a lot like Jones. He really just inspired me when he had a, a bowl of points and he would just take one out and take a look at it. And that was really administered to me so I get it chance to take a look at what he had. The reason I have these pottery on here is because this dish uh, is as big as they get. I, I haven't found any bigger pieces around here. It's a definitely different type of pottery and hard as, as can be. Uh, but just look at the variations here. Made with everything from maize uh, to fabric uh, in terms of the indentations. Today, and I'll take the first piece right off, today I found this piece right here. Found this piece right here at B and B Field. Look at the texture on that. Like I said, you're either gonna love it or hate it. I, I love the pottery. There's such a spirit about it. Of course, it's flat on the back with perfect lighting here. Put that one aside. Now these uh, these pieces qualify for big enough to put into this dish. Uh, much much bigger than many of the other pieces I found or they just had some texture and thickness that I really loved and wanted to put on my display but it all goes together in a great dish here I mean just take a look at this so let's look at some of these pieces of course I'm gonna put this aside the only piece of just crystal that I found out there on one of my sites and my focus of course is not working So before I get before I head out the door here, I figured I'd just make an effort to do this. Look at the thickness of some of this stuff. Red as can be on this one. They tempered it with sand. Uh, sometimes the tiniest bits of shell, although I don't find it much, I do find... Uh, specific sand if I can find one look at how dark it is in there uh, with uh, which is it's quartz based see this is all when you find it that the, the the coloration difference makes each piece very unique and different I mean, look at them lined up together as well as in this bowl very much the same slightly unique and different I mean just look at this stuff to me, there there is a there is a uh, virtue in it, different than this stuff. All right. Now here's a here's a close up if I can get it. Little shiny pieces are teeny teeny bits of quartz. And that's actually the outside surface. You can see the texture just a little. Teeny, teeny bits of sand that are actually quartz, which I think helped temper it. There you go. When they fired it. Look at this piece. I remember I found this piece of the Cascade.
difference in the way they textured it. You can see that's sort of a cross texture. All about the same thickness. And at least according to my sights, this is as good as it gets. I mean, look at this piece. A little bit of a rim. I don't find them that often. Texture is different again. I love it because it carries with it the spirit of the people and, and what, they, what they had during that period. This is uh, very late archaic, early woodland, throughout woodland pottery here in eastern North Carolina. Look at this big piece. Crazy, right? Hear the sirens, of course. Busy afternoon. I hope people are okay. Common. Averaging 4,000 emergency calls a year here in Wilson, which I guess for a small city is a lot, but again, you see what they used mixed into the clay to temper it. I think that quartz got extremely hot and helped temper it um, evenly. I mean, look at it. You can see it in there. Anyway, let's keep going. This piece, I think, of course, is later woodland. I think they rolled maize over the top of this, which was common practice to in, to to get the indentations. Definitely. Pretty cool, huh? And as I keep going here, look at this. Just put that in there for texture. That is a skinning knife. I know Rob would like that, although... I'm not doing very well with the focus. Skinning knife. It's a thing of beauty. Would have worked great to take the flesh right off a deer or any other animal, and they would have done it in quick fashion. Great skinning knife. And this, this is spalled. This is a piece of rhyolite that they have used many times to make projectile points. Came down to the bottom. it. Now, let's finish this pottery. I mean, check it out. Every piece is unique. Different, separated by 20, 50, 100, 300 year periods. It's just crazy. I'm sure of it. Uh, because looking at it, it's all made after the same spirit, but uniquely different if you take a quick look at it all. Look at that. So, it's a pottery tour, right? Look at this piece. Big piece. Totally different texture. I would guess very early woodland. Uh, maybe middle woodland because they're using patterns. Some of the earlier pottery, and I'll show you a piece next, didn't even use patterning for the most part. Uh, texture, that is. For example, take a look at this. This is one of my earliest pieces, I believe. Late, late archaic pottery. Tempered again with sand. Look at this. And the site does put out late archaic projectile pieces, but uh, just probably the, the earliest piece of, of pottery I have. The oldest piece, that is. Of course, a stone from my favorite state in the world, Utah. All right, we're about finished. Look at this. Different fabric texture on that. Great stuff. Look at the texture on this thing. The lighting's just perfect for this. Again, the quartz to temper it. This is really hard. You can't barely even break it with your hands. Uh, very, very difficult. Hard. You know it survived these machines. So, Look at this piece. I got hit with a the plow there, it didn't even break, you see there? Great stuff. Alright, that'll do it. Look at that texture. That gives you a really good idea of this stuff. All I can say is uh, thanks for tuning in Indian Trace. I just wanted to give you an idea of the really different 
and great looking pottery that they have here in eastern North Carolina. And, uh, I mean, that just puts a good show of it right there. All I can say is thanks a lot for tuning in to Indian Trace and, uh, you know, keep studying the stuff out, keep learning about it. Be well out there.